Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Tech. Today with a small but very important project for your 737 panels, the dual rotary encoder. Here you can see the design of the whole construction and the arrangement of all the different components. First of all, you will need a 3D printed case and two rotary encoders. D-shaped shafts will make the connections more stable. A coupler will connect one encoder's shaft with a 4mm acrylic rod with a length of 45mm. You will need one gear with a T-shaped cutout and one with a 6mm hole. Now put the gear with a hole onto the shaft and connect the coupler with the first encoder. Now you will need a 6mm aluminum tube with a length of 30mm. Bring it in place and glue it into the gear. Connect the second gear with its encoder. Cut a thread into the resin printed upper and bottom knob for a set screw. Now bring the knobs in place by starting with the upper knob. To mount this encoder into a panel, you can insert two M3 nuts here into in the case and then place it under the bottom of the panel and go through it with uh, two M3 screws and so you can fix it underneath the panel. Let the shaft go through the panel and then put the two nuts back in place. And here we already have the finished product. Surprisingly easy to build when you invest enough time to think about uh, how all these different components work together. I think the gear here on the encoder could be fixed with a drop of hot glue instead of normal glue and because it would make uh, the maintenance later more easy. If you don't have a CNC or a laser to cut out those gears here, you can also print them. On my website you will find all the needed files to cut out or print this uh, dual rotary encoder here. I have included 3D files for the gears as well. You can try out if you can print them on your resin or filament printer. And if not, you should now have the knowledge how such a dual rotary encoder is made so that you can design a gear that you can produce. By the way, if you are using the same or equal encoders as I have done here with this included push button functionality, then you already have push button functionality in this encoder if you need it. How cool is that? So I will have to go on with making panels for my 737 simulator and if you don't want to miss those upcoming episodes then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about every upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.